Hi guys, I want to start beekeeping, but I also want to keep costs to a minimum. So I'm going to try and catch a swarm with this bait hive. As you can see here, I've got some lemongrass oil. That will act as like an attractant. They'll be able to smell that and it, hopefully that will drag them into the hive because it mimics the pheromones of the queen. The ends are a little bit shorter than the sides and that's that when the top bar of the frame is in there, it's all flush. Got a simple cleat on the outside for a handle. And then to give a bit more of a rail space, I've put a small cleat on the inside as well. Now there are loads of different plans for these nucleus hives you can find online. I've just used some plywood that I had in the garden already and made simple butt joints at the corners that I've held together with screws. I extended the baseboard out the front as an area for them to land and then I've simply drilled a 20mm hole for their entrance. This rotating cover then will let me close them in so I can relocate them safely if I'm lucky enough to catch a swarm. Now I've heard some people say that these nukes are a bit too small so I've made another one and I'll stack that on top so it's double the volume. So I could use this as a mini hive for overwintering if I have to do a split or something like that later in the season. Now I did have to buy an old frame here but most of them are new frames. Uh, and that's because the smell of the of the of the old comb it also helps the scalp bees find this hive and find it attractive. You're basically making a, a ready-made apartment for them. Being modular like this, I'm hoping that if I'm lucky enough to catch a swarm, I'll just be able to lift the brood box off and straight onto a mesh screen hive stand. And as you can see, with this big cavity underneath, it should give the impression to the bees of a nice hollowed out tree, hopefully. To give me a little bit more flexibility, I've made it wide enough so it can take six Hoffman frames rather than the usual five as well. And I'm also going to make other supers of this same sort of size I can put on top of this, as well as queen excluders, feeders and all the other sections of a hive that you can get. As you can see, the peach tree here is in blossom already, and soon I'm hoping the, the, the bank behind our house will be full of blossoms as well, and should hopefully attract a lot of bees. And then if there's a swarm nearby, they might find my bait hive. I've also joined a beekeeping association, so if this doesn't work, hopefully somebody there will be looking to split a hive off or sell me a nucleus later on in the year. So, thanks very much for your time guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing here, or if you want to watch another video like it, Try this one out. Cheers.